Hey Leo, welcome back to my channel. This is Moon Pie. Getting ready here to do your next 10 days love reading for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Please be mindful. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. If you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. I am running a special for February 50, uh, $50 off the 30-minute um, phone reading, so do check that out. All right, let's take a look. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe the video. Um, Leo, let's take a look. <laughs> I was just getting a very strange message. Um, I just heard somebody's name. They're telling me the letter A. The letter A. A name, a name or a street or like, I don't know if there's Anthony or Amelia. Uh, something with the letter A. Okay, let's take a look here. All right, so you've got the runner. Okay. Runner in a codependent relationship. Fear of intimacy, listening to ego. Okay, the butterfly transformation. Relationships evolving in the next phase or to the next phase. Healing the inner child and growth. Okay, separation. Right, so, all right, this is very clear already. Um, there's some type of relationship here that two people are not connecting. Okay, and in this separation okay somebody's missing you you're missing somebody else um, there's some sadness somebody's thinking about you for sure unsure of the future but there's also a transformation and a healing in regards to that so i don't know if somebody ran away from a relationship um was very codependent needed to get out um needed to get some healing done and during the separation there's a lot of like um emotions being felt here deep emotions being felt, not what, not knowing what to do about the future, you know, but really, oh gosh, I feel like in a, uh, this separation or if somebody split up with somebody or ran away or broke up or there was something, there, there's a strong pull um, back to each other. There's a strong pull between two people, two people missing each other. There's a lot of sadness. Okay, somebody's truly yearning to connect with you. You might have been in a connection with someone that was just always running away. And then it, when they were gone, the healing starts happening. And then that person starts missing another person. And then there's a reconnection happens again. And then the cycle repeats, which is pretty much a codependent relationship in a lot of ways. Okay. Um, but I feel like something here is evolving into the next phase. Um, there's actually this time and separation between two people is actually healing this relationship. There's some kind of growth. Let's take a look and see what other messages there are for you. Okay, self. Wow. Taking a look at the self. You're de like two people. This, I don't feel like this is just you, Leo. Two people are looking at themselves, adding things up, balancing things out, reconciling, accepting things as they are, as well as the other person and what's going on in the heart. Acceptance seems to be the key right now in this connection. Um, not beating each other up, but really just saying, okay, well, maybe it is what it is, you know? Um, what can be done? What can be fixed? Can it be fixed? Can there be healing? I definitely feel somebody is truly, truly yearning for your, for you, feeling sad and really missing you at this time. Okay, so I feel like there's going to be um, haste, speed, and travel. This feels like um, Knight of Swords energy. So this gives me the sense that somebody's coming in um, to have a conversation with you, and they have a lot to tell you. Okay, um, somebody's making a huge lifestyle change at this time. Two people, I feel there might be travel um, coming to see you, connecting with you wherever you are, um, wanting to talk to you about themselves, wanting to talk to you about what they've learned, the healing and the time that there's been separation. Okay, trusting the intuition. So this feels like waiting for answers to be revealed. I feel like there's something coming to you at this time. Leo, where things are going to be actually revealed to you. And that's what I was saying here with the haste, speed, and travel. Somebody's coming in to talk to you. They want to tell you something was going on. Um, and I feel like this, this mostly feels like um, whoever you were connecting with was either keeping secrets or not revealing things to you. I feel like... Um, this person was really clouded or blocked. They didn't understand themselves. Um, they didn't have the kind of insight or both uh, 
or you and this person in this relationship was like what was this you know in and out energy back and forth energy somebody broke the cycle somebody broke the link and the, the chain link okay there was some financial loss here so i do feel like um somebody feels definitely left out in the cold they feel broke um broke like it could be financially broke or just broken hearted or, or feels a strong um kind of oh it just it just feels like just like abandoned it feels like an abandonment kind of issue going on here let's take a look and clarify what's going on okay so what is this card about self what's going on about the self here somebody's having growth so what is this growth what are they learning what are two people learning in this connection okay page of pentacles immaturity how things are always kind of put it feels like um things are always kind of like put out into the open like okay this is going to happen that's going to happen we're going to do this we're going to do that um but there was a whole lot of projection i feel like and and this is something here that took a toll in the relationship and like maybe just a lot of promises were made or a lot of things that were said or plans ideas things oh we're going to do this we're going to do that this is what's going to happen and it feels mostly to me like it was all just pipe dreams and i feel like that took a toll on a relationship because it was most of the time just a whole lot of fluff a whole lot of talk um, which is what the page of pentacles is very immature energy is someone who's very excited about things but never actually does them okay just likes to talk about them what else was this self energy here okay somebody who was emotionally unavailable as well and that's why i feel like there was a lot of this in and out energy in this connection you know somebody it's like oh yeah we're gonna do all this stuff but when it came to actually having that new star in love it just feels like it was um maybe just a failure to launch with this person um or in the relationship in general just could not get it off the ground it was just all these hopes dashed is what i feel okay so now somebody's coming in here to talk to you to tell you what you know uh, what this growth that they this is what the growth is that they're having realizing here um I f it feels mostly like they have a new outlook um they're seeing things differently okay um because i feel like in in they were just very immature and um it's just like kind of problems seeing things through and i feel like the the growth it's like wow i somebody saying to you you know i know i keep running away i keep running away because i'm scared i keep running away because i want it so much but i don't know how to manifest it i don't know how to make it happen every time i feel like it's going to happen or love comes to me in my past or in my life i just become indifferent to it or i just feel like uh, you know, it's not ever going to fulfill me in the way I need it to. So I just like to talk about my ideas and plans and things that I want, but I can never really believe that it's actually going to happen. And I feel like this person is coming in pretty fast to tell you, wow, King of Pentacles this is the first court card. So um, you could be connecting with Virgo Taurus Capricorn, um, but this person comes in very stable now. Look at them. They're, they're, they're coming in very stable to showing to show you that they've grounded themselves or they got themselves in a better position now to be able to, you know, back up what they say, coming in with courage and strength. I feel like self-confidence. I really feel like, we, um, Leo, that whoever this person you're connecting with, they have very low self-esteem. They're very immature. Um, I don't feel like they had the confidence. Um, they, they did a whole lot of talking and not a whole lot of walking, okay? so they're revealing this stuff to you they're also revealing that yeah they want to start over have a new chapter okay leaving the past behind um you could be talking to somebody here on the internet for some of you maybe you live at a distance to each other um this is a car to travel i feel like this person just wants to you know i feel like for you leo it's it's like great but how can you trust it you know a lot of you are like trusting your intuition that maybe you should just you know leave the past and behind absolutely and walk away and not really try to make anything work with this person okay just kind of like walk it away kiss my butt you know I'm walking out the door i because i feel like a lot of you have gone through this so many times that you're just like uh, you don't know if you can trust it 
let's take a look at this financial some of you lost a lot of money in connection to this relationship or you lost material things you've had a lot of loss with this person you don't really know um, a lot of you are just kind of like if they come back in with this cup of love I do feel like they're having growth and change but if they come back in with this cup of love you're just kind of like I'm not really sure that I want it now um, you're also looking at other options that you might have in your life let's see financial loss okay yeah you guys paying off some judgments or liens or things uh, maybe lost homes or you had leases and um, financial obligations that you could not um, that you lost and now you are reconciling with them and getting things paid off this person is too okay um, boy Leo I feel like you're in a, a struggle here I mean in a sense like you're doing fine on your own but it feels like this person coming back now this wake-up call it might be just for some of you I'm just picking up like this is not something I need in my life right now I just don't think I can move something forward I don't know if I can make something happen again a lot of you just don't know if you can trust that this you know that this energy is going to um, not turn into a runaway and separate and then having to go through a growth process and change yet again. It feels like it's been very cyclical for a lot of you. But I will say um, that it feels like this person is truly going through it. They're having a wake up call here. And I'm not, uh, some of you might have just decided you were done and you walked away from the connection and that instigated, that was the catalyst for change in this person. Like, I feel like. You may have walked away before, but this time I feel like you mean it. Let me take a look here and see what the Romance Angels messages are. Okay, loving yourself first. Wow, Leo. And who's better to do that than you? You are um, respecting yourself. And that's what's making you romantically attractive to this person. And that's what I was saying. A lot of you just decided, I'm walking away. And I'm not just saying I'm walking away. And then coming back and then walking away and coming back. This time, walking away and doing it for good. And I feel like it's boom. Now you're the runner and this person's a chaser. Okay, religious factors. So your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing, spiritual path. I feel like there's maybe um, things in this connection that made it very difficult for you guys to connect. Like I said, it could have been distance. Um, for some, it could just be, you know, cultural, racial, socioeconomic, um, religious differences, things like that where you both weren't on the same page. Um, it could have just been one person was more mature than the other, you know. Um, these feel more like some complications that were not worked out between two people. Or that just made it very difficult to, it just feels like failure to launch all the time. And now it feels like it's going to start launching. Okay, codependency. See, this is the, this is the issue. This is twice now. Okay, addictions are affecting your romantic life. So... There's definitely this this healing from codependency issue. You may have had someone that just, it's like, I don't know if they would come in and then um, they wanna do all these things. This person, I feel like, is a bit soulless. They just don't know who they are and they've struggled with that almost all of their life. And it feels like this person is having a huge, huge transformation and growth, which would be great if that's something that you want. Some of you um, are just, I feel like you're done. And you're moving on. Let's see what your charm is. Oh. Okay. So we have a candle. Okay. Very spiritual, this candle. Very spiritual candle. Uh, lighting a candle for someone. Maybe you're, uh, you could be lighting a candle for somebody or just trying to keep someone um, in your prayers. You might have a candle that you keep lit for someone in particular. And you just pray for the healing of their soul. Okay, I'm definitely picking up um, something happened around um, the holiday season, around Christmas. There's been big change. So we have a sea turtle here as well. So some type of connection to a sea turtle. Um, I don't know if you... Um, okay, they're just... Somebody has turtles and like... A, um, aquatic like tank or something um that might resonate for you i feel like um or somebody's just been so slow as a turtle and 
trying to um, come back into your life and a lot of you just didn't want to wait any longer but you know the runner chaser energy has been here this is all about what's going on during the separation period where there is change um, you've got somebody here I can definitely tell you that whoever this person is um, soft in the center hard shell candy on the outside this person would never let you in not fully express how they feel and it feels like they're coming back in really excited about the some type of wake-up call that they're having and for some of you they are definitely coming in to pay you back for some financial loss that you either you had because of them or that both of you had all right so this is the next 10 days leo i hope that that gave you some insight again if you want to get a personal reading link in the description box below thank you so much and i will see you all very soon take care